represented by the Deputy Governor Martins Babali. He said the event is an avenue to find the root cause of the clashes between the aggrieved parties. Describing the visit as commendable, Babali is optimistic that lasting peace can be realistic at the end of the day. The committee, headed by the vice president, was led by the executive governor of Ibony State, engineer Dave Umahi. It was set up to resolve the conflict between herders and farmers across Nigeria, especially where the clashes have claimed lives and property. The forum, however, brought together the representatives of Lamido Adamawa, Hamapachama, Hamapata, farmers, Miete Allah cattle breeders, security agents, among other stakeholders, to interact and come up with a resolution at tackling the ugly trend. The leader of the delegation, Umahi, in a remark, condemned the recent killings in the state as he stressed that both parties need peace at this crucial moment. The very increase of farmers' programs and estimates are going on an arithmetical progression. So, with the likelihood of crisis being the same, the geometric socialism. So, which means that as a nation, we have got problems in our hands and which we must solve them. Participants made submissions and recommendations. The development of grazing reserve for the herders was the recommendation of the NEC committee, among others. We recommend that the state government and federal government do put the elsewhere in the states into these gazettes, gazette reserves. Use the anchor borrower scheme to develop these gazette reserves with modern facilities that will guarantee greater yield. A committee was also set up in the state, headed by the deputy governor, Martins Babale, to ensure the realization of the resolutions reached, and is expected to submit preliminary reports to National Economic Council Committee within 40 days. Helder Jesselia Duma, Tusis News.